Close your eyes and find your breath. Notice where the breathing feels most prominent in the body. If it doesn't feel especially prominent, take a couple of good long, <coughs> good, long deep in and out breaths. And see if long breathing feels good, if it feels refreshing. As long as it feels refreshing, keep it up. When it doesn't feel so good anymore, you can change. You've got to learn how to adjust things. Everything in the path is depends on the right time and the right place. So if there's a time for long breathing, a time for short breathing. There's a time to make the mind still, there's a time to make the mind more active in asking questions. And a lot of the skill lies in figuring out what's the right time. The Buddha calls this kalanyutta, having a sense of the right time and right place. It starts from the outside, having a right time and right place for saying things. If you're going to criticize somebody, find the right time. In other words, get away from other people and do what you can to put them in the right mood. Show that you feel some respect for them, and then you can say what you have to say. Much better than just blurting things out. The same inside. There's times when you want to focus on how things are inconstant and stressful and not self, and other times when you want to focus on their more easeful and constant side. Like when you're working with the breath. Right now is not yet the time to be talking about how your mind isn't constant, stressful, not self. You're trying to actually fight against that, trying to make the mind more constant, give it a greater sense of ease, bring things more under your control. And some of this can be taught in words, this sense of having the right time in the right place. And some of it you just got to learn how to observe on your own. This is why the Buddha said that having admirable friends is such an important part of the path. You see them do something skillful, you can take that as a lesson. Always keep your eyes and ears open all around you. If you see somebody doing something unskillful, well, you can take that as a lesson too, something not to do. But a lot of the path depends on being sensitive. Not everything is going to be explained in words. Some of the things you've got to learn how to figure out on your own, and it's in the figuring out that your discernment develops. So when thoughts come up in the mind while you're trying to meditate, this is not the time to be thinking those thoughts. This is the time to be staying with the breath until the breath has settled down. And then you want to examine the process of thought construction, because then you can allow a few thoughts in and watch how they get constructed. So learn how to take these instructions and see, well, which one is right for me right now? Get a sense of learning how to read your own mind, because that's where your discernment will arise not just imposing an outside regime on it, but getting more sensitive to the big issue is the sense of dis-ease you feel when you do certain things, and the sense of ease you feel when you do other things. Noticing that, and then noticing the long-term consequences of that dis-ease and ease. So you can figure out what kind of ease is useful and what kind is not, what kind of dis-ease is useful and what is not. This is where your discernment grows.